I will be using newspaper to make art. It's called Artists in the News. I'm showing you know, artists documented in the newspapers from at least 30 years. Let's say you know, there's one article per week, 52 weeks times 30 years. So it's about 1,500. So if I have English and Chinese, then it's about 3,000. I actually joined the National Museum in 85, uh, not having uh, much knowledge of Singapore art history. So joining the museum has opened up my, my eyes, you know, uh, my knowledge through news cuttings, through catalogues. You know. Later on, when I became an independent art researcher and artist, uh, I realised that I need to continue to, to learn the, the history. Uh, otherwise, I will not be able to cope with the demand of my independent work and as an, art, as an artist too. In my case, I'm interested in our art history as the theme for my art practice. Yeah? And art history includes accumulating whatever is current. Every day what is happening will also become old in the future. So I learned uh, over the years that, yeah, if I, if I read the newspaper every day, that's good enough for me to accumulate. When I first proposed this uh, work for Benale, my idea was there's always been new artists, young artists, contemporary artists uh, in different periods of our history. So, uh, if we look at the newspapers, uh, they have contemporary artists, contemporary art exhibition, da da da, you know. So, uh, my intention is to show the contemporary artists, which normally people refer to the younger artists, <laughs> yeah, and the artists who are current. Uh, I want to show them in history, there were also contemporary artists contemporary art. Hopefully, you know, during the Biennale period, uh, I can meet people who has the, the means to, to ex help me extend the life of this collection and the archive.